the Islamic Republic's large coastal defense fleet of small missile and machine gun armed speedboats has become a major headache for U.S. military planners. Last year, then President Donald Trump threatened to blow Iranian speedboats out of the water after accusing Iran of harassing large U.S. surface warships by zipping by them at high speeds. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy has taken delivery of some 340 new combat speedboats for operations in the country's southern waters. Speaking at a ceremony in the strategic strait of Hormuz straddling city of Bandar Abbas on Monday, Muhammad Bari, chief of staff of Iran's armed forces, said that with features such as agility, high maneuverability, high firepower, stealth, as far as is possible, and many other features, the speedboat plays an irreplaceable role in the sea. 340 combat speedboats join Irk Navy fleet on Islamic Revolution anniversary. Iran's military has supplied the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps Navy with 340 combat speedboats on the occasion of the 42nd anniversary of the Islamic Revolution. The speedboats joined the Irk Navy's fleet in Iran's southern port city of Bandar Abbas during a ceremony on Monday, attended by Chief of Staff of Iran's Armed Forces Muhammad Hossein Bakri. Earth Commander Hossein Salami and Earth Navy Commander Ali Reza Tangsiri. The speedboats, co-produced by the Earth Navy and the Defense Ministry, are capable of carrying various types of rockets to attack enemy targets. They will be used in missions in the Persian Gulf and the Sea of Oman, as well as in the Caspian Sea. Speaking at the ceremony, Major General Bakri lauded the Earth Navy, saying the force has successfully performed the task of establishing security in the region, especially in the Strait of Hormuz through which more than two-thirds of the world's fossil fuel passes. The Persian Gulf is of significant importance, and remarkable efforts should be made for its security, he said. The Earth Navy has been able to maintain such security. He described the speedboats as agile, maneuverable and equipped with radar evading stealth technologue. The commander underlined Iran's success in boosting its naval power in spite of sanctions imposed by the United States. Major General Salami also spoke at the event. He said the Earth Navy has been boosting its power day by day, so as to be able to counter enemy threats. He pointed to the sanctions, noting that the Iranian nation will not exchange its independence for sanctions removal. We have bypassed the consequences of, he maintained. Elsewhere in his remarks, Salami warned certain Arab countries of the region not to indulge in friendly relations with the Zionists because there will be nothing but fire in every territory the Zionist center. Enabling them is nothing but a sign of enmity toward Muslims and you should not go to extremes in your friendship with the Zionists, he said. This is an ill-fated marriage that would put both of you on the edge of fire. Muslim people do not accept such behavior from their rulers, added the general referring to the recent normalization of ties between Israel and some Arab states, namely the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Morocco and Sudan.